So we're back with a brand new episode of Walking and Talking with Tim. So today's guest is David Kryshak. Did I say your last name right? Yes. Perfect. What because a magical if you if you saw the spelling of Dave's name, right? You, you I, I guarantee you, fifty percent of you oh. would get it wrong. So Dave is actually a, a young entrepreneur. He's got a company called Spartan Digital. And he is the president and CEO of Spartan Digital. You guys are how big now? How many people you got? Six people, full time. Look at that. Guys, how old are you? 23. 23 years old. This guy, right? Before we talk about Spartan Digital, let's talk about this. So he's a Rowan grad. So go Rowan, right? And this guy's got an MBA. In May. An <laughs> MBA. Don't be calling it. Yep. Yeah, an MBA. Get it up for him, right? So that's pretty cool. All good stuff. And um, he's in the digital world. He's in the IT world. He's and he's and he's swimming around with me, of course, uh, because I'm involved in that fun stuff. So, um, I guess first, tell our listeners what exactly it is Spartan Digital does. And I love that because every time it changes sometimes. <laughs> but we've gotten it down to a really simple thing: websites and digital marketing that don't suck. <laughs> and another quick thing: every time I say suck. Any group of people, whether it's politicians, business people, <laughs> my family, cracks people up because nobody yep. wants to say it like it is anymore. It is. It, well, yeah, it's not a bad word these days. Yeah. You're fine. But yes, it's true. So, you know, I've seen all Dave's stuff. Dave does great work, great graphics. I, I mean, you know, check him out. So, so, you know, you were telling me how you got started. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of a cool story. Do you want to share that one? Yeah. So <laughs> Tim and I are from the same neighborhood knows I was in 16 I was in high school fixing phone screens and computers for people around the neighborhood you know how about the old lady when she calls you kind of deal I'm on the phone with a gentleman who is now a giant plumbing company in South Jersey and I'm on the phone with him know nothing about what I do now Dave do you build websites I'm on the phone with the guy yes of course we build websites because it's always yes until it's no I hang the phone up and I'm like how the hell do we build a website so learn how to do that. And as I say, in our world, everything bleeds really fast. Yeah. So you're going to build a website for somebody. It's going to look great. It's going to sound good. And it's going to deliver your message. But there's other ways to do those three things. Yes, How do are. I get to the top of Facebook? How do I dominate LinkedIn with videos? How do I get to the first page of Google? How do I stay there? How do I engage my current customers? And all that worms into the world of digital marketing. So then now we've done the full service agency. We're partnered with everybody that we need to be partnered with and we service anything from the one-man bands up to national companies like serve pro all state etc so and, and that's impressive it's a fun ride they're big names you know it's good stuff so we talked about family so you got you got you got a pretty cool family that your family is actually from south philly and you told me that your dad had a sandwich shop in South Philly, which I think is the coolest thing ever. So tell him about that. Long time ago, in my <laughs> father's previous life that he will always tell me not to mention. But it's getting put on. He had a shop uh, called Sarah's Steak Shop um, back on 9th Street that's coming back to me now as we're talking about it. Had that for <clears throat> about 25 years. Had sold that off, and it was running all the way up until 2010 way after he had it set up so right. building the neighborhood brand he's a two-streeter so go two street <laughs> and uh hey i've been in them parade too just just developing we're that both musicians so, you brand. Know. oh yeah so we we get nerded out on instruments we get murdered out. yeah so we, you probably were in the parade right yeah you've you, you've you've played for the fancies yeah yeah so have i it's zero degree weather you know oh yeah a half a case of beer in your back Marching down thing. the street it's it's the love <laughs> of the life so no family got everything started and then mom was in the state police for 26 years so they met very very talk about opposites attract right um <clears throat> moved over here to jersey and woodbury and then kind of got into the other business which is the uh, yeah that bleeds into this right catering company yeah um and it's called four star catering it's in deford it was actually the four stars where my mom my dad my brother and my sister i was wondering where that came most from most people wonder where that happened um started everything doing it like out of your house catering in the 90s think yeah. of just cooking for the family 20 years later we get a call from the volunteer fire department that says yo we need people to cater. And we're like, oh gosh, okay. <laughs> I was just graduating high school, so it threw me right into the bar business. Um, cooking food for a lot of people. Yeah. It's a big job. Yeah. So 
we hold up to 300 people. So we, the stories I have from that <laughs> give me a lot of free drinks because we talk a lot of smack. Nice. But it's awesome. So, so favorite thing to do in your free time? Free time, man. It's a combo of a lot of things. I, I'm really a coachable person. I like to try a lot of different things. Yeah. So it always changes. <clears throat> Learn to shoot firearms at about 16. Um, the combination of how somebody feels right about guns doesn't matter but the way that that some people feel after developing a skill and really feeling safe around as it's, something, a, it's a sport and as a sport it's awesome so big shooting sports guy three gun matches it's pistol rifle shotgun shoot for the nra all the time mm -hmm. um shoot down at m m sporting clays for many matches sure and then on the complete random side this big body did play tennis at one time <laughs> um, and tennis always it always surprises me yeah it, it's and it's like i golf. stink at tennis so i don't I, I just that's why it surprises me and a little bit of golf but more the drinking part of golf not the hitting the yes i think we, we 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 agree on that <laughs> uh, we like to drive the cart have a few drinks hang out and hang out on the course it's beautiful out there but, so and we also we talked a bit about also um about music and our love for music because we both play and and we talked about music and movies and all that kind of stuff and how it's kind of getting stripped you know from us but with that in mind what would you say i'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you with a with a hard one now you ready i'm ready favorite movie uh the simpsons really yeah favorite favorite musical artist uh luke combs no country kid. guy country guy mm -hmm. and i would say um favorite place you've ever vacationed key west florida oh yeah as of now as yes. of now i guarantee you that'll change but as of right now key west and and so what was key west like for you because i've been there a few times myself. yep we were talking about that it's a little groundhog day yeah a little groundhog day but the it has a spot for everybody, no matter what you're into. It sure does. You want party, party, party? There's two blocks for that. Yeah. You want a special section where you want to spend four hundred dollars a night at dinner? There's a section for that. Fishing. You want to go to history? You want to go charter fishing? Depending on what you're into, and as they call it, the reject capital. Whatever <laughs> you got rejected for, wherever you're at, come on down, and they'll take you right in. It's a magical place, and it's so many friends that I, for some reason. I'm a Polish guy. I forget a lot. <laughs> I remember these people and the conversations and the names and where they live. But we'll never meet them again. You were an Irish Kevin's for sure. Oh, yeah. That's where you met most yeah. <laughs> of the people that you'll never and remember. And the world's smallest bar. One of the stupidest places to think of conceptually. In the bar business, we want as many people at the bar as possible. What is that Brad Paisley thing? It's alcohol, all the best times I'll never remember. Yep. Something like that. Yep. And yep. it's just brings all these kind of crazy people together and you never know who you're going to meet which was the best part oh 100 percent. so so the most important question that i ask people is this so your message to the world so if uh and i, and I hate saying i'm morbid but if if tomorrow we were all gone what would you want everybody to remember about you that you think is a, a positive message to the world really be kind to people if you can Pick up the phone when somebody needs you and show up when you're asked. And that, and that is, the pro, is probably the shortest version of the most direct answer, you know, of exactly how it should be. Yeah. Right? You know? And, 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 when, and when you make that call, I, I talk about this all the time. When you make that call, like, like James Corbett does, actually ask someone, hey, man, yeah. are you really okay? Yeah. You know? He does that all the time. He's so good at it, you know? And if people want to get a hold of you, for any any reason for business or whatever how do they get a hold of of dave at spartan digital text me call me 856-443-2317 or google spartan digital i hope we come up first <laughs> <laughs> it's our whole job but we're everywhere or just if you can pronounce my last name and say it call me i'll give you 20 bucks and we'll buy you around but we're all over the place tim's a great guy and uh Call him and he'll, you know, my booking agent will get in touch with you and we'll get things going. Or Eva, drop a message in the box. Yeah. And we'll get you, get us that way. I'm too. on LinkedIn enough. There you go. So. Well, listen, thanks for joining us. That wraps us up for today. We will see you next time. Keep walking, keep moving, and we'll see you next time on Walking and Talking with Tim.